On today's On Location, we're in Wisconsin near Manaqua, fishing with PJ Vic over here. And we just got done with, I mean, how would you describe it? Like a crappie crush? Oh, yeah, incredible day. I, I cannot remember the last time I've caught more giant crappies. Not big. I mean, to me, a big crappie, you start getting over 13 inches. That's a yeah. sizable crappie. Yeah. 15s, 15s and a half, doubles, double 15s. That doesn't happen very often. So what you need to know is we're starting to get to that point of the winter where all the fish are transitioning from early ice patterns, right? Mm -hmm. uh, everything early ice was out on the weed edges. We're starting to develop some ice. Weeds are dying off. Fish are starting to head deep. They are not out in the basins yet. No, not yet. Uh, we found most of our fish today in 20 to 20 to uh, 23 feet of water, excuse me. And as we went deeper, the fish got smaller. Uh, very obviously so. By the time we got to about 24, 25 feet, we were catching smallest fish of the day, turn right back around, head right back up the break, back into the bigs. So uh, from a location standpoint, just finding that knuckle, right, where the, uh, the, the shoreline break started to break down in towards that base and that 32, 35 foot of water, where the fish will be in a month. Yeah. The bigs were just running that little knuckle. And today, uh, Mega Live was huge for us. Just using it, uh, you know, the way you're supposed to use it as a search tool, right? Punch a hole. Uh, I had the depth range up to 55 to 65 feet, crank the sensitivity up, and you're just looking for those big old returns. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's obviously a big crappie. And uh, just, you know, sweep, sweep a big arc, spot some fish, not one, not two. We wouldn't mess with those. We'd no. wait till we saw three, four, three, five. Three, four, or five, yep. Punch a hole on it, get over there, and we fished. This bait right here all day long, number four slab wrap. I think we agree we know how it got its name. Yeah. Uh, and there should there should be no other name for just this thing. Just, slabs. Just, <laughs> just crushing slabs all day long. Uh, the whole uh, approach today was if you're going to catch big fish, fish big baits, target big fish. There were smaller fish here and a lot of bluegills. Uh, by using these larger baits, we were really able to get those bigger fish charged up. Yeah. I mean, talk about your technique, what you were doing to really get those bigger fish to fire up out of the school. Yeah, so I would put it probably about two to three feet above the fish, and I would actually do nice big long rips, get that vibration going, and as soon as I would get them fish charged up enough to start coming at it, and I start doing the short, aggressive yep. taps, with a two to three inch pop worked in there every once in a while to really seal the deal, and that did a lot of times for me, where they, that was like, when I did that, they were, you couldn't keep them off that bait. <laughs> um, I won't say they didn't behave like crappies because that's what they are. They're crappies, yeah. right? Uh, typically, crappies will move a lot slower. They won't move quite as far. These fish were incredibly aggressive. Yeah. I caught a couple today at eight and a half feet below the ice where they were coming out out of 22 foot of water and they would cover that distance just in a streak. Yeah. Here we go, hit that bait. Uh, so you know, that's, that's the information that you know, I think really stands out in my mind as being uh, information that could help somebody watching this video. Because this pattern here where the fish are transitioning from early ice prep patterns out to deep basin patterns, this is happening everywhere yeah, right now. Yeah, absolutely. We finally got some snow cover. I mean, we still only got about eight inches of ice uh, here or something like that. But snow cover, ice is getting thicker. They're definitely on their move. And you know, the, the gear we used, uh, lightweight walleye gear. Mm -hmm. uh, you used a tuned up custom uh, Fusion. A Fusion, yep. yeah. And I was using the, the Precision and the only reason being, we're just fishing larger baits. Yeah. You know, sometimes fishing those noodles with these larger baits, you just can't get the right action. You don't get that, that aggressive snap that you need to really get these fish going. It's kind of, you know, just a real slow jigging action with those uh, softer tip rods, so. We got really lucky today. We timed the weather perfect, just super nice, warm, not a lot of wind. It looks like there's about uh, another week before we're gonna see anything like this again. Yeah. So uh, for anybody that loves catching big crappies, put this to use. Uh, we're in the middle between early ice and basin pattern. Fish yep. bigger baits. Try that slab wrap. It was deadly today. Today, I think you're going to love the results. So from PJ Vic and I, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time out on the ice. In-depth outdoors on location, presented by Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters. Reed's offers the best service, best price, best advice on all your favorite ice fishing gear, guaranteed. Find them online at reedsports.com.